welcome back to my container garden. It is a week five of these garden tours that I've been showing you and there have been some major changes in just everything. How big my plants have gotten, how many are actually flowering. I can't wait to show you so let's get started. So as always we are going to start over here with the, the peas and beans and if you look down here, do you see that guy? Oh. Right there, my first black bean sprout. I'm very excited for that. And then I added in a flower here. And this is a, I can't remember what it's called. I've got this little tag somewhere else in the garden, so I'll show that to you as soon as we're done there. And then here is my littler bean plant and then Look how big this green bean plant is getting. You see that? Now I tried to use this to have it wrap around there, but it was not having it. So it's sprouted up here and my peas have made friends with it. So I'm hoping if it gets a little bit bigger, I'll be able to have it wrap around that. And then just look at those peas. Do you see this? Do you see these? Yes. I have so many of them. Look at that. Isn't it exciting? I'm very excited about that. Or as my catchphrase, I'm so excited. Over here, I've got this little guy. This is just ornamental. I thought it was so pretty, so I had to, of course, get it. And it's gonna get bigger and take up this space here, which will be perfect for when the peas are done. Now, I did not catch them in time to save some of these, but the hornworms have come to my garden and they have just gotten a lot of these. It actually got to the point where I had to actually put down a pesticide, which I did not want to do, but I mean, look at the damage on that. So I'm hoping these two will bounce back. I mean, the top parts of them look like they're doing pretty good. And over here, got another pretty, and another one over there. And then, had to come over to the other side. This is my lima bean. He's doing pretty good. I don't know if it's going to want to come around this thing or not, or if it's going to go around that one. It hasn't decided what it's going to do, but it's getting pretty big. And then this, over here you guys remember this one my pickling cucumber and do you see this got flowers and then this one down here oh, can you see it that one down there had a flower but it's gone now so I think it means that that's gonna be a fruit soon we'll see and then over here my pink snapdragons, they are starting to bloom. Uh, my regular garden sage is taken off. I don't know what these are, but they've been growing in all of the pots. And then here, look how big that basil is. Just, do you remember last, last week how small and tiny that was? I'll see, we'll put, see if I can find a picture. But it's just taken off. And over here, course are lovely oh do you see that you see those those little flower blooms all right so this is another tomato plant that's doing really well the carrots in here are doing fantastic and I know I'm not supposed to let them grow that close together but I'm just happy they're growing so they can do that my dill is over here just doing its thing. Oh, I got a new sprout there, yay! These sunflowers, they got hit by the, horn, the green hornworm things too. I picked them off as soon as I could see them, but still some damage got done. Now I'm really excited for right in here. Do you see that? See that at the beginning of the corn <laughs> and then this one is I don't know 
what's going on with this one, but it's not doing as good as this one. It is, they are a couple weeks apart, so I don't expect them to be growing at the exact same rate, but still. And then over here, oh, it's my cauliflower. It got eaten a bit. So basically everything in my garden this week got a good spray down of a pesticide um, that's safe for pet safe for plants like it's safe up until the day of harvest which I ideally I wouldn't want to do but they were just getting to the point where natural remedies were not doing anything and then this marigold here is doing very well lots and lots of blooms there and over here you see that there are my strawberries and I've got even more sprouts coming up. So these guys are just going to take off. And these ones are June bearers. So they should start bearing fruit at the end of the month. And it's been very windy today. You can see my wind chimes going. And over here, the alyssum is taken off. And this guy, I was a little worried about it. These guys haven't... Oh, this got just eaten down by something. See, this is what I mean. Last week, there was like another two inches of stuff on here, but this week, it's just gone. And I'm out here like every day picking stuff off of here, and it's just getting to the point where I can't keep up. So I had to do something. Um, I planted little pink impatience because they're just cute. And my ghost pepper is doing so good. I think it's a little jealous or in competition with the habanero because they're both trying to be the biggest pepper plant. Now back here, you see this tomato? This guy's doing really good. These ones are about to start blooming again. Now see, I found hornworms in this container too. Now I picked them out and I smushed them with my spade because I'm not going to touch them. I don't like bugs. But, so everything got sprayed down. My viola is just taken off though, which I like. So you get that there and the fuchsia. Can't even tell that I harvested anything off of that. This is a new one. I really, really like this one. This is another of those flowers, which I think I have the name somewhere. I think it's Calissa. C-E-L-O-S-I-A. But they're supposed to get tall, and I just like that they look fuzzy. Now this is the Wizard Scarlet. It's a Calissus. I spelled that. I said that wrong. And then more impatience. And in about probably two weeks, this is going to be so full like this guy back here. Look how full this is, you can't even see the bottom. My thyme is taking off, my variegated sage is taking off, my lemon balm is exploded. Even, like look at this. Remember when I showed you that I trimmed this, these guys were right here. Look at that. Full two inches more of growth. The sweet mint is just exploding and the pink snapdragon that I have in here is going to be taken off too. Now this container here, this is the one that's been getting hit the most with the bugs. Like yesterday I came down and right in here, there were just swarms of these little gnats like all in here. I got those taken care of with rosemary essential oil and water, diluted down in water, but that was kind of when I was like, you know what, I'm going to have to suck it up in get some chemical help because I can't risk my plants all being eaten to death. But this alyssum is taken back off and this one's doing really well. This tomato plant here, I think if you look over here, see those? Tomatoes, I'm gonna have romas. This one here, that's it's really bright out on the screen. This one's got flowers as well. My pepper plant has grown 
at least two inches in this last week. Look at that. Beautiful. And then over here, my Swiss chart is doing a little bit better. I thinned it down from four to three. I'm kind of leaving some in there just in case the bugs decide to kill it. Kill one of them, I have a spare. This guy, remember it was like all the way down in the leaves, just decided it didn't want to be in there anymore. And there's another one there. So I'm hoping this one bounces back and just like explodes with flowers like the others. And then, yeah, then this is my pepper plant. The one that's gonna do multicolors. And it's actually doing really good because before I just had like four, it's got new growth in there, which I like. And then the red beauty is just taken off. And I think, let me know if I'm wrong, but I think those are the start of peppers, like actual pepper blossoms or something. Let me know if I'm wrong. My eggplant, do you see this? Do you see that? Look at that. Look at that gorgeousness. Look at my camera went, Fuzzy. What's going on? Okay, look at that. And then over here, now the flower was fallen off, but if you look on the inside, can you see that? There's a tomato in there. And there's a tomato in there. Now, I thought they were just dying, so I was pulling them off of this one. I'm not going to do that anymore because the flower petals fall off, but the tomato stays inside. <laughs> Learning as we go. Got more opening up here and here. I'm going to just have so many tomatoes, I'm not going to know what to do with myself. That's a lie. I eat tomatoes like apples. I will be in heaven. This is another new addition. Kind of had to, I lost the hook, so I kind of had to make my own with an old keychain and little, which one I got when I graduated my, with my masters. And then this guy, and it actually is pretty strong. I'm, I'm liking it. So I got the container itself at the Dollar Tree, and then I just got the, this chain from Walmart. So all in all, this and this was like four dollars and in here we've got my copa uh, it's not going to get any taller than this but they're going to grow out and they trail over they're a really good trailing plant and then i've got sweet marjoram because i want to learn to make my own italian dressing and this has been in every recipe that I have found. So I'm just gonna take this one again, like that. And hopefully I can teach it to grow up that. And then this is my last, well, one of the last new ones. And this, that is the name of that plant. I'm pretty excited. So I've got more impatience, I've got this one and more of these in here. And they're all supposed to get about six to 12 inches big, like tall. So I'm hoping that this one and the other one just fill up. And here is, of course, my Italian flat leaf parsley. And look at the oregano. You see this? This is where I harvested it. Okay, so those ones are taken just a little bit to come back in, but the other one, like the ones that I did two weeks ago. Look at this. That's how, how tall it is. And the rosemary is coming back here. Get some of these fuzzies off there. Please don't be any spiders. Okay. Like, look at this. That's where I, yeah, that's where I cut one. And already I've got almost, I've got these. And the lavender. I'm just going to let these all bloom and grow and just kind of do their thing and then there's a bunch more of these that are going to be coming up soon and over here 
this is the last one. I got a white geranium because I really liked how that one was doing. So I got this one and it's just gonna explode soon. And I got another one of these and another of the green and red variegated foliage. Over here, look at this. It's doing so good. And this one is, I don't know. It was looking like it was gonna bloom and then I think something numbed on it a little bit. But that's okay. I've got these ones over here. These are cucumber flower sprouts. And I'm just gonna go like that gonna start the training process now over here I found out from the nursery that I might be keeping the soil too wet in here and that's why this is happening like the flowers will bloom and then for a day or two and then they start shriveling up like this and falling off so I'm going to try and not water it outside of the rainstorm and see if that helps it at all. And now while these guys are getting bigger, they're kind of blocking out the marigold that I have here. So I'm trying to just put like that. And back here, the little eggplant over there, still doing good. It's not really getting any bigger or anything, so it might just stay that way. And then I've got... My bright pink geranium is doing really good. And look at all of these, look at all of these red snapdragons. How gorgeous is that? There's a hornworm on my cat's outside lead. What? What? So that is the garden tour this week. It's not a super long video this time because there is a thunderstorm rolling in. And I just wanted to make sure I got everything shot and taken care of before it all got rained on. If it's not, if it's not too bad of a storm, I may come back out and just sit out here with, and listen to the rain for a little bit. And I'll definitely take a short video of that because it's so nice out here when that happens. Well, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about. I mean, just look at. Look at how pretty it's getting. You see that? I'm so happy. I'm so blessed to be able to have the space to be able to have a garden like this. And just the thought of being able to come out here and pick my food and just go in and eat it is going to be amazing. I can't wait. And I've already <laughs> been a uh, looking at seeds for next year of some other kinds of like different varieties of stuff that I want to grow like ornamental corn because I think it'll look really cool in its jar when I'm done canning it and a couple different bean varieties and stuff like that and just kind of well as Jess from Ruth and Refuge said in one of her videos I'm kind of turning my waiting room into my classroom because I'm trying to buy a house. So while I'm waiting to have a big yard to be able to do a big garden, I'm learning and just kind of deciding what stuff I want to do and what would make, oh, you see Tibby right there. Um, what kind of stuff I want to do, what stuff I want to grow, what stuff I even like to eat. Um, so it's just, it's been a really great adventure so far. I've had my garden in for two months now and I've only been showing you guys garden tours for a little over a month, but I mean, just look at the changes that have happened since from my first video till now. It's absolutely amazing to be able to share this with everybody and I hope you guys keep coming back each week. Have a great week.